Hi, it's Dr. Z. I will be discussing the etiology of somatic symptom dissociative and factitious disorders today. By the end of this video, you'll be able to describe the biological, psychological, and environmental factors related to the development or etiology of these disorders. Please feel free to pause the video at any time to take notes. Somatic symptom and related disorders are characterized by excessive thoughts, feelings, and behaviors related to somatic symptoms. The word somatic is a fancy word for the body or physical part of the body. In this case, individuals experience real physical symptoms, yet their physical pain cannot be fully explained by an established medical condition. This group of disorders include somatic symptom disorder, conversion disorder, illness anxiety disorder, and fictitious disorder. There are four specific causes or etiology of these disorders. The first specific cause is related to psychodynamic theories. This theory explains that the physical symptoms are an outlet for internal psychological distress. In other words, somatic symptom and related disorders are related to intrapsychic conflict and the use of defense mechanisms, or the failure to use them. The film Hollywood Ending is an example of a man who's forced to work with his ex-wife and develops blindness without any medical reason, otherwise known as conversion disorder. The second specific cause is related to behavioral theories. The principles of modeling and reinforcement may contribute to the development of illness behavior. In other words, if an individual gets increased attention from others when ill, then physical symptoms of illness are positively reinforced. In the film Madagascar, Melman the Giraffe has a history of illness anxiety disorder since he was young. His physical symptoms appear to be reinforced with increased attention from the zoo staff. The third specific cause is related to cognitive theories. It is possible that distorted thoughts may be a factor in the development of these disorders. For example, somatic ap amplification is the tendency to perceive bodily sensations as intense, noxious, and disturbing. In other words, some people may have heightened sensitivity to physical processes and are thus more prone, prone to notice and negatively interpret these sensations. Additionally, it is proposed that inaccurate beliefs about illness and bodily symptoms may contribute to the start of these disorders. In the film The Switch, the young boy is an example of having inaccurate knowledge and beliefs about illness that appears to result in illness anxiety disorder. The fourth specific cause is related to a biopsychosocial approach. The integrative model takes into account several things. One, how the individual experiences their physical symptoms. Two, how the individual thinks about those symptoms. Three, how the individual learned to deal with those symptoms. And four, how the medical doctor reacts to those individual symptoms. In season two, episode four of Grey's Anatomy, there's an example of a female patient who has a history of illness since a young age and then deliberately makes herself sick to get attention. This is known as factitious disorder. She appears to become upset when the doctor's reaction is not what she is expecting. Dissociative disorders are characterized by a disconnect or separation between an individual's identity and or their memories of important personal events. This group of disorders include dissociative amnesia, dissociative fugue, dissociative identity disorder, and depersonalization, derealization disorder. There are two specific causes or etiology of these disorders. The first specific cause is related to biological factors. 
certain neurological disorders may produce symptoms associated with dissociative disorders, such as blackouts, fugues, feelings of depersonalization, and more. Though more empirical research needs to be done, it appears that in some cases, dissociative symptoms may result from abnormal neurological or abnormal brain functioning. The film K-Pax is an example of dissociative fugue that may have been caused by a head injury as a result of a traumatic experience. The second specific cause is related to psychosocial factors. This approach to etiology believes that traumatic experiences and disordered caregiver-child relationships during those critical periods in development impact healthy personality, or in this case, the lack of a healthy personality. Clinicians who specialize in dissociative identity disorder suggest that dissociation occurs as a coping mechanism to deal with the trauma, or a post-traumatic model of dissociative identity disorder. It is important to note that an iatrogenic disease is one that is inadvertently caused by a physician, by a medical or surgical treatment, or by a diagnostics procedure. In other words, the sociocultural model suggests that dissociative identity disorder is an iatrogenic disorder that develops from cues from the media and therapists. In other words, DID doesn't exist, but it's created. The film Frankie and Alice is an example of a young woman with two alter identities and the trauma that is revealed to have led to them. In summary, there are biological, psychological, and environmental factors that contribute to the etiology of somatic symptom, dissociative, and fictitious disorders and each factor is valuable in guiding the future treatment of your client. The photos used in this video are property of the above-mentioned films and TV shows. Thank you.